If you think that psychology is only for students, professors and therapists, think again. Psychology is used in many ways in your everyday life. Think about the last time you went shopping and saw a huge sign that one of your items was going out of stock permanently. Did you stock up? There you have it. That's social psychology. Psychology is the science of exploring the mind, looking at how people learn, and helping people make healthy lifestyle choices to improve well-being. With that said, here's many ways psychology can help you live a better life that you probably never thought about before, and six great reasons to study it. Understand other relationships. According to Bustle Magazine, Director of Education at the University of Pennsylvania's Positive Psychology Center, James Powalski and Susan Pelegi, a well-being consultant, give some key tips to understanding others around us, including romantic relationships. Don't try to complete your other half, but support each other. Don't be totally fixated on your significant other. Instead, be more in control of your own emotions. A big part of positive psychology is gratitude. PositivePsychology.com stresses the importance of expressing gratitude, which has a variety of mental health benefits, and it can also improve our relationships with other people. If you savor and appreciate what's going well in your life, you'll be able to appreciate the others around you, just like how using your own unique personal strengths can help you to also appreciate other people's strengths and values understand yourself. Getting to know ourselves matters because we can respond better to what's going on in our lives. Margarita Tartakovsky for Psych Central tells us that we should learn to not let our emotions control us too much. According to psychotherapeutic counselor Lynn Martinson, when we aren't in touch with our emotions, they can surprise us without warning. We may hurt others without meaning to or hold on to toxic people and habits when we shouldn't be. When we learn more about ourselves, we're more able to take better control of our lives. Martinson gives some great ideas on how to get to know ourselves better. We can pay attention to our bodies and learn what they are saying to us. It just shows how the body and the mind are connected. Our bodies have stuff to tell us and we often aren't paying attention to them. A great tip is to keep a dream journal and a regular journal to keep track of your thoughts and feelings and think through how your day is gone. Ginger Hewton, a psychotherapist from Michigan, says it's also important to explore negative feelings and experiences because they give us a lot of insight into ourselves and we can learn a lot from them. Examining negative parts of your personality and your life can be challenging, so it's important to go easy on and not be harsh or judgmental with yourself. And getting to know yourself more helps you make better decisions and overall have a better life. Working with a mental health professional is another great way to dive deeper into yourself. Communication skills. You probably didn't think psychology could help you communicate, right? According to youthinsights.org, it can help you learn the best ways to approach people or share your opinions without causing offense. Psychology is not only studying the mind, but also human behavior, and by studying this, we can improve the ways we interact with others. The more we understand how people interact with us, it helps us understand how we are with others, and how to adjust how we deal and communicate with different people, depending on the circumstances. Critical thinking skills. A study from the Society for the Teaching of Psychology came to the conclusion that critical thinking skills of psychology students by the end of their time at university could potentially be increased. Critical thinking is not only important in the workplace, but also in every aspect of your life. Degree programs in psychology have have courses on research methods which includes scientific aspects requiring critical thinking due to the repeated exposure to research and experimental data that comes with studying the field. Some other ways that critical thinking can help you is building self-compassion and understanding your strengths and weaknesses so you'll be able to focus more on your strong suits rather than your weak areas. Problem solving skills. Dr. Lauren Florco, a writer for Psychology Today who specializes in organizational psychology on workplace stress, explains how to improve our problem solving with psychology. She suggests getting curious about other people's points of view and differing perspectives, which give you different insights into problems you might not have thought about. Also, that thinking, daydreaming and getting creative helps us break through stale thought patterns. Imagine you have to write an essay on pirates for school. Maybe while you're doing your chores, you can pretend you're Jack Sparrow, swabbing the decks while you're mopping the floor and really get into the mindset of a pirate. She also advises being more flexible and thinking outside the box just in case life throws you for a loop. Remember you don't have to be perfect all the time and try to reach 100% when less is just as good. And you know how to recognize your problem solving skills are improving? Lauren says you'll start getting excited instead of anxious about change and uncertainty in your life. This excitable energy also helps you increase your self-confidence, which leads to our next point 
Self-confidence. One can gain self-confidence by learning and knowing more about oneself and their personality. This helps the person to know their weaknesses and enables them to build on them. According to psychologist Dr. Yvonne Thomas, Confidence is all about how you trust in yourself, your abilities, and security. It also means you have a good sense of self and are self-assured. Confidence also gives us resilience and the ability to learn from something when it doesn't go the way we thought it would. It helps us move forward, adapt, and not let things get you down. So how can you increase your self-confidence? Here are a few ways according to the website Her Money. Go easy on yourself and quiet down that inner critic. Speak to yourself more positively. Remember, we can't always be perfect. Focus on your unique, natural skills. Learn to sit with and accept your emotions instead of running away from them. We mentioned earlier about how listening to our bodies helps us understand ourselves, but it also helps us to build self-confidence. Psychologist Ernesto Lira de la Rosa gives similar advice to pay attention to how you're feeling, how your body is feeling, and what you're thinking. Now you understand how studying psychology can help you improve your life in many areas. Can you think of other reasons to study psychology? Let us know in the comments and be sure to like, subscribe and share this video with others. So hopefully you're now sold on psychology but you might be thinking, where can you go from here? You might be curious what kind of careers are in the field of psychology. If so, check out this other video for more helpful info. 10 psychology careers to know about. Until next time friends, take care.